Uh, but we do get a little bit of variation, right? We get the misfortune with the gin mm -hmm. in the bot lane. We get the Aurelia as well in the mid lane there for Team WE with a lot of strength. But then you also get the Heimerdinger Varus, the Gragas coming through for JDG, and that Jace as well. That Jace, uh, and it's a Jace with a Gragas who has a fair amount of early pressure as an AP jungle yeah. as well, especially with Elise kind of being taken off the table as well. Uh, JDG, if they do what they have done against lower tier opposition, opposition before and just smash through lane, they have just the picks to make this game insufferable from WE. On the other side, if Maokai and Sound get online and JDG don't do what we normally see of them and just crush through this early with huge individual plays, maybe those tanks can come online and make things a bit awkward. We're in the home turf of Team WE. Will it make a difference against the top of the table Titan, JDG? We'll find out here as it is. The training arc started for JDG as they're looking and looming at a week eight against LNG. I'm going to continue this streak here and I think finding out how they can navigate this cop with a lot of poke and a lot of damage is going to be a lot of fun. It's not like there's zero um poke is that is that, is that a decider <laughs> i mean i mean this lane is going to be largely about level ones that, that uh, in terms of like you've got quadruple range uh poke tends to stick in them quite a lot um you're not necessarily all in you're just kind of chipping each other down time after time especially when you've got less hail of blades and more comets as we see here as well um so landing stuff like that that make it rain can very much help. And this is, of course, going to be the support misfortune. I was wondering after that draft, yeah. I was wondering, this is going to be support Jin, support MF. Jin's going to be the one getting the farm. It's going to be the AP misfortune. Uh, so, I do want to put a little bit of spotlight, though, obviously. Uh, we, <laughs> we obviously, when we come into these kinds of games, it's a little bit crazy to get into it. But the biggest thing for me coming into this was an opportunity for hope to really prove himself. I know WE hasn't had the same track record as JDG so far, but he's going against, you know, would be replacement on JDG and a, a replacement that has been blowing the roof off the LPL, it feels like, and uh, no slouch in his own right. Yeah, well, Ruler took him a very long time for him to win a domestic split. He won a Worlds many years before he won his first domestic split, which of course came last split. And with JDG looking so good, they're definitely up there in uh, terms of top spots for contention for the title at this point in the split. If you were to have a best of five between the top two teams, they'd uh, very much be in contention for winning that one. But long way to go before that series is on the table, regardless of what players and what teams end up in that point. And Team WE, a team with uh, a lot to prove themselves. Of course, they come in how much with... You, uh, how much do you think this means to Hope? I mean, I know he's <laughs> on the gin, but the, you know, just uh, one out of ten, how much does this mean? Oh, gosh. I mean, players playing against former teams, there's always something extra in that. Smite fight, uh, can I be got I something out of that? Yeah, I think could not I don't know what he got, but he got something out of it. <laughs> He's getting that red buff tick there. Nice little blast cone should get hung out of there, but missing was on his way. So blue buff is just being started by JDG, and they want to keep putting the pressure up here. Uh, can I be has smite up, though? It doesn't. I'm talking about turrets. Um, using a lot of them. Is this going to be a smite still? No, it is. Navi gets that one for free. This is what bot lane prior gets you. Gets the ability to kind of Wait, have the extra platform to play. I don't see <laughs> the blue buff on him. Uh, wait, hang on a second. I mean, I, I think it is there. I don't see the blue buff on anybody. I think there's just an issue. I, I, look, I saw the gold pop up and I saw the smite happen. I'm like, surely that's been taken. The camp's down. He's blue. So... Like, his skin is blue. It just all goes <laughs> together, you know. I'm sure it's I thought we nerfed Rise. I thought we nerfed him. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> one of his many reworks coming in. You know, we thought it was actually the Aurelian Soul rework. No, it's not. It's actually just, it's just another Rise one. Um, he's uh, gaining a little bit of weight. I'm just saying. I'm not crazy. I don't see also. it there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm uh, just saying. I'm like, I'm not You're blind. actually right. But I saw the CS number go up. Yeah. So, oh, it's on the way. Yeah, you see it there. See on the hot bar on the bottom left? There the blue go, buff there is go, actually there, there, just visually. Like, I don't know if it's just a me problem or whether it's just anyone else can see that. Maybe it's just us going crazy. But yeah, it is that. I think it's game. Spectator likes spectator to do thing. that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> spectator is, is not the innocent one here. <laughs> Uh, spectator so, deep. I feel like I never need eye tests again. I just like get called out by a Twitch chat or various comments on Twitter. <laughs> like, did you? How did you not see this? You know, that's, that's how, how I actually tell how my eyesight's doing. <laughs> that's a, a pretty good judge, as I think uh, the internet will definitely pay dividends in that fashion. But we do get the uh, maybe a little bit of hover around. I guess we'll be spotted out. Is hung in mid lane. Ooh, Shanks going in for a nice little engage on the night. 
who himself actually on the Jays will try to find a little bit of response in its own right. But love to see that Shanks is willing to take an aggressive matchup in tonight. Coming over from Top Esports last year and uh, himself actually having a lot of care pants here for, like, for JDG. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Shanks has been such a clutch player for this team. Ooh, Cleanse Force. That Ooh. is a lot of damage. Oh, you got a flash away from that one. It's oh. not enough. The bees are coming for you. Missing flashes for his old ADC. Says, nah, fam. Not the bees. You ain't getting out of this one. A double kill for the JDG <laughs> support. <laughs> Minion Block almost put Missing down into the dirt as well. But the bees, the bee vinegar strikes home, stings the bot lane. Two kills for that. Stings Hamidiga. extra because it's, is... you know, hope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stings extra hard. Uh, and that is so difficult now to deal with because, um, you know what we talked about, how, like, the Varus and the Jace, if they get ahead, things get really difficult. JDG, one of the most dominant laning teams we've ever seen in the LPL. Um, yeah, Heimendinger is also a champion you really don't want to get ahead. Heimendinger is a champion which with gold picked up from kills like this, becomes so insufferable. When you're playing double ranged uh, bot lane now, is this Jin and this Ross Fortune? Yeah, good luck trying to outplay this uh, Heimendinger with the extra gold in pocket. Getting towards his first items uh, much more quickly. He's going to build towards a Rylize. Getting that uh, Rylize with, you know, an extra 700 gold in po uh, pocket to get towards that first it's item so is big. so, so annoying. Like, that, that is just such a difference maker. And you could see that, I feel like at least that was JDG's plan, right? Just let him pick up that second kill, try to get a little bit more. Now they're looking mid lane. They weren't able to stop that dragon take. So WE do get themselves on a board with an objective. And again, when we looked at WE for a lot of this, it we have seen strength. And especially, I felt like early on in the split, we saw some really positive things from this squad where they were fighting carries through shanks, through hope. But that is still needing to be solidified for them, and I'm still kind of questioning that here. Well, I mean, one of the big things which came out from uh, W was, I think, you know, last split they were what, the windless team in summer. WE could not get any lower than that point, but then they bring in Warhorse, who was one of the old Flash Wars coaches, and then, of course, won Worlds with FPX in 2019. And the change between summer of last year, let's bring in this one, can't be understated at this point. Feels like WE have had so much of a breath of fresh air breathed into them. Part of it has been through this mid lane of Shanks. You talked about him already. He's had very large champion pool, played a lot of different picks, played a lot of the Cassie Pier, but also played some of those melee champions as well, bringing out another unique champion in the Aurelia in this game. Maybe he has a way to take over side lanes should JDG falter and allow him to find some more v ones WE, while they haven't had the best mid split so far, still a lot of positives to take away, as you can say. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the little things, right? The little things. Uh, I, I do say, though, right now, this bot lane is not going well. <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's uh, real impressive for yeah, Ruler that's, Missing. But the oh, other it's just, thing it's is... It's just the big things. You know, it's just, just the big things. Yeah, no, it's oh, just no, the it's big not things. the little things uh, anymore. Go, go back. <laughs> the other thing, though, is that there's like a 30 CS lead between Kanavi and Hung. And that is not good. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that, I thought like, it's, it's not the little things anymore. Good. It's big. It's all really big. <laughs> it's, it's so big. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, and this is... So, we talked about this uh, in terms of the patch change as well. Maokai's AP build has been nerfed. This is still First Strike Maokai. Um, so, so Hong is just going to take take the nerfs and say, look, still going to go AP. Still want to play around that range. And when you have champions with less sustain, like the Varus or the Jace, particularly after Eclipse had its sustain removed, then, of course, Heimdinger as well. Um, you can kind of poke them out with these saplings around objectives, which can be fairly important to keep track of and uh, playing around these objectives both these teams have tools to play with it does feel like JGG have an awful lot more though with Heimendinger Jason Barris range advance and Cody turrets what have you um, but it gives you something to fire back with the Maokai Saplings and I love to see this move right getting missing some of that gold while he doesn't have their allies getting out onto the map now we did see the same response from Iwandi I'll see missing here he's, he's, they, he's found uh, now he's, he's changing yeah. wouldn't that the, be so the funny? V's have been found in the jungle <laughs> it's just every time like the vision plant goes over him, it says JDG found. Wait, um, how is this fair? I feel like there's something there with the trees and the bees, uh, but there's Shanks. not something there for Shanks as he needs to be really careful. The curtain call did come out, maybe a little bit slow for my wand. He helps out. Doesn't have much damage in the auto attacks, but definitely has a little bit of that utility. WE actually get away from a gank there, not having yeah. to burn too much. Just the heal for my wand. Uh, 
Given that that was like, what, four people roaming up towards that plate, you had the Jin ult pulled, um, thought it was going to go a lot, lot better for them, but um, holding their discipline, Canavian Knight doing well enough to keep things... Oh, that's going to be the ult back. That is. The all out is used. Bew Bew should be able to tank up the back end of that. And Kanavi just showed his face there. Rift Herald is up on the board. A third plate would go over to Ruler. And there was already a 2,000 gold difference of like in bot lane and the last time we yeah. looked at it. And now there's going to be more. So, um, now this isn't Project L, but JDG have definitely been down smashing on a couple of these teams. Um, in the early split, but we were wondering whether they could really hit the top teams. They've learned some new moves, they've learned how to uppercut, and they absolutely smashed top esports in their 2 0 -er victory versus them. But this is one of the hallmarks we've seen of them kind of before that, right? They're starting to evolve beyond that in regards to just out muscling people um, in a mechanical sense through laning phase. But that is something which WE still have to face. Can look for a fight around this oh, herald, though. Can we flash out there? Nature's Grass did come back. They're going Slow. back in now. No cask is available, but Missing has arrived. So maybe that makes a difference. Uh, the, the tree's running away from the bees. And uh, Rift Herald actually there for JDG. Yeah, but what, what was that thing you were talking about? It's like, oh, there's a I thing with know, the trees and the bees. I don't know, something about Maokai and bees, but I feel like there should be like a, <laughs> a symbiotic relationship there because that's how bees work. I say, when they're on the same um, team, it's like it's like, it's like like um, like the 100 Acre Woods or something like that. Just get, to, get the honey <laughs> in the tree. Just need the um, whole thing. Yeah, you got the whole thing, but um, yeah, uh, Kanavi is going to take down that um, Herald towards that top side. That's going to be the power play available to them, so that's important to note. Kanavi also about to hit his first item as well, so look for potentially JDG to maneuver around this uh, high mid Varus, which is so far ahead, already getting themselves a big advantage, and then um, having Kanavi paying a trip to their lane. WE on the other side. Again, whenever you're already behind a game, and then you also have to deal with a Herald. It feels like you just have to be just sleeping with one eye open um, and rotating around the map Pretty with much. so much care because it's really difficult uh, to kind of predict everything if you're behind and killed behind in vision and then also not give over a huge power play towards that Herald as well. Yeah, uh, we do see the Yumu is completed for a ruler there on that first item spike as well as the Frost Slayer in the top side. So a little bit of tankiness given. This means JDG utilizing some of this priority they've gotten take this dragon we'll be splitting the dragons one to one you see that gold difference in the side Ow. yeah well missing has more gold than hope right now and hung has also yeah. been as you pointed out before really put into the dirt 30 cs down in that jungle matchup as well that early invade very much helping with that uh, 369 doing what he does uh, in terms of just setting in these lower volatility matchups sometimes it's kind of like a tank and that's a still getting value for night Nice going. Okay, so this is so we, we actually will talk about this. So, you know, I was talking about how around objectives, maybe something like the Maokai saplings can really do well against these low sustained members since Eclipse lost its sustain. That's mm -hmm. a big thing for um, the Jace. Jace doesn't have sustain without the Eclipse, and he really needs it sometimes. He does have Nature's the Scorpion Grass, because he gives him more survivability. Shanks realizes with Kanavi there, he can't really do anything in a response. <laughs> Uh, Chains of Corruption down here. Ah, uh, no plans. That should be everything out now. Curtain Call comes through. That was the flash from Missing Ruler. We'll tank this up here. Just saying, come at me. It was just <laughs> trying to clear up a little bit more from Hope. Kanavi is collapsing. We'll be spotted out, though. Uh, so, actually, Herald dropped in mid lane during all of this. Kanavi walking up has ultimate available. Doesn't have flash. That was Night yeah. Harvester, too. So, you could get a little bit of damage on that back end. <laughs> You can't. It's not the uh, top lane row, Gragas. Uh, first item spike, actually. Jungle Gragas arguably does more damage um, than solo lanes from the builds that we have been seeing. Nice. Walking up There's to the cast. cast the tree comes back. We'll see if the hammer is enough to fell the tree. Knight wants it, but Shanks goes back in there with the. Oh, edge. missing. Oh, missing. Beautifully timed. And two more kills. They're going to JDG. This fight doesn't work out for WE because they're so far behind in this bot lane matchup. Yeah, you can see some firing back from the Misfortune and the Jin in that last play we saw, but you haven't kept missing in lane. This high moon again, walking around the map being an absolute pest and throws an ultimate, which makes all the difference in this mid lane play. Actually, the Hung plays this fight pretty well considering all of these things here. Gets a sapling on target. Gets the uh, cancel on the two disguise with his Bramble Smash on that Q. So Jace doesn't get the kill combo immediately. But you just haven't factored in the fact that you have zero control over the spot side. And Hymenir yeah. comes to join that party as well. He's going to walk back out onto the map after getting that kill participation. Having a full Rylice completed already. This Hymenir is effectively an extra laner at this point. <laughs> One item almost matching the laner's 
of WE, missing is going to be a real threat. It's a 7,000 gold lead at sub-15 minutes. I, I don't yeah, think there's much more you need to say about that. That is like, exactly, is... and that's where I wanted to lead to, is the fact that this is one of our top teams, and while they have different trajectories, WE and JDG, this is the expectation for JDG. Yeah. And we expect them to brutalize teams in the early game through that laning phase. Um, the analogy I steal from my brother, uh, Initialize, is... Uh, you must be this mechanically tall to ride this roller coaster effectively. You're not even allowed to get on the JDG ride. They just shut you out of a series if you can't fight them in that laning phase around these objectives. Pulling another Maokai ult, but it feels again just like a real overreach. Yeah, they're gonna get the old back, and now oh, I want to given to Ruler as a gift. Again, it's just such an overreach. Yes, maybe if you had a bit more laning priority, maybe if you had a bit more gold from the early laning phase, that works out. You are not in that situation now. WE having to force themselves to reach for more and more plays rather than finding themselves any easy victories. There are no easy victories against JDG. And Ruler has just walked into a lane, pushed it into turret, taken CS leads, taken kills. He's just doing that again, even on the mid lane in a turret at this point. And I know you're bringing up you know, hope against his old team. We're memeing about what that feels like to go against your old team and a little bit of the chip on your shoulder. But I don't think there's even been a conversation at this point. <laughs> Ruler is doing just everything with missing in the bottom lane. And we're seeing a little bit of struggling to get back onto the map for WE. And I don't think it gets any easier. I mean, you're, you're circling down seven, 8,000 gold deficit 16 minutes in and the control of the map is not there. Rift Herald's coming back up. You got another dragon coming up. Yeah. There's no real contest. We, uh, you know, we skipped over um, episode four. We've gone past a new hope. We've gone straight back to, um, you know, Ruler Strikes Back. <laughs> and he has been slapping so many people in the LPL. He had- He's been incredible. Bit of an off series or two um, around about week five where JDG lost to EG. Um, lost a couple of series back to back even, but it feels like that once that one blip kind of got off the radar They've just continued to style an opponent so now in a 2v3 on top side missing throws out the ult is again This Heimdinger is such a menace at this point And I love to see Kanavi getting some more of these like kind of carry champions, right? Like it's not the tank Gragas, it's the AP Gragas and it provides a lot of setup for JDG And that's where I feel like we've seen oh. Kanavi at his best where he almost just gets <laughs> Three people so in with that damage. cash, but he does so much damage, and this is where he thrives, where he gets a little bit of that say in the profile yeah. of JDG. And of the criticisms labeled, kind of like leveled against Kanavi, it's been look when you don't have prior lanes, sometimes you can feel a bit lost against EDG. It felt like he was really read by JJ by not having the most creative uh, pathing when he doesn't have the same platform. Um, yeah, but this JDG team, they so often do have pushing lanes that Kanavi has been able to play where he is most comfortable. Invading on the front foot, being aggressive, putting out damage on stuff like this. And when he gets to play that sort of style, Kanavi's one of the very best junglers within the LPL. Heck, most of the players on JDG in their roles are vying for top two, top three best players in their roles across the board in um, some different argumentations. And WE. I, what more can we say? They are 18 minutes in, and once again, JDG are in a monstrous gold lead against one of these teams. They just keep racking up even more, too. It's about the CS, it's about the kills, it's everywhere right I now. I don't think you even kill him here. I, he just pops ghosts, he has ult. That's so sad. You overload a side lane, three people deep, you've got Jin over the wall as well. That's Jason's a ghost pop still by feels confident he to wants you. this. He's trying to bait them in here as the class coming down for JDG. They will be spotted out moving down here, and WE actually sticking around and get a little bit of damage back on the 369, but that's the dragon already started up and almost taken by JDG. I wonder if they're trying to get more for this. I think they're trying to bait WE in to fight. They're more than ready to fight. All right, you do and a little bit of that front line. The nature of did come across. Got TP from behind the bullet time. There you go, a little bit of damage. Shakes into the pit here as well with the Vanguard's edge. Pew Pew get a little bit low, but Shakes doing wonders here on the Aurelia. Ruler will shut him down, but hope he gets revenge on his old team and his new team ADC. WE come out clutch in the end. JDG get massively out team for They maybe could have pinned WE in that one choke point, but missing start of that fight on solo HP that he couldn't be a nuisance in the front line. Shanks gets a teleport behind and going back into this replay, it really feels like as soon as Yubu and that Markai ult start to get forwards, this fight becomes really, really difficult. Ruler actually does a pretty okay job of threatening the backline, 
but the rest of the stacked members from JDG take so much damage on this initial onset. Gold advantage be damned, they don't get to fight on even footing. And just the fear right there that the Aurelia puts into the backline. These some of these squishier members on JDG. Again, we said you don't have that tank for Kanavi on the Gragas. You don't have that tank with the bottling for support. And I think you do see some of that coming alive. But I do want to say that we get the second item completions really coming alive here as yeah, well you know at what, the same time. You know time. what one of them is? Um, yeah, it's the Magi's on a Kanavi. Oh, that it's one gone for the well. full Magi's. He is full styling mode. Um, now, some people might see this as a bit of BM. I'm a big advocate for going second item Magi's. If you're in games where you're already ahead, you're snowballing. The fact that there's only 1,600 gold for a legendary item gives you something on your um, mythic item as well. Gives you build. Oh, he's just gone. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Sax. Catch him out. You just cast a curse of the hell, man. <laughs> there's only two stacks. Uh, really there's only two stacks. That, uh, yeah. that cleanse there as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know what the ult was from Kanavi as well. He just kind of throws it at his feet. Maybe thought that the Maokai was going to follow him uh, through that dash. But a little bit over-aggressive. WE wait in line to wait over that jungle. Uh, <laughs> but just briefly, just going to say, I am still an advocate for second item match, guys. <laughs> Particularly if you're already ahead in these games, it can give you a real bump in power, which can kind of just make games unplayable. But JDG, um, been a bit greedy, been a bit um, arrogant, maybe, in the last couple of fights now, which has put WE... I'm not going to say back into the game. They're still not there yet. They probably need another couple of these fights even still to get to that point, but still not as far behind as they were. Yeah. I I know it's far gone from this day and age right now, but man, I'm still harkening back to the JDG of last year that would just consistently go to three games, no matter what opponent they were facing. As uh, 369, we're trying to take out this Bu uh, Bu oh, side lane for WE. Does get the knockback there and has a lot of damage to put into Bu Bu's back. If you had already used that unstoppable onslaught, it might be a tank fight, but it's one that 369 will eventually win and gets the solo bolo. As soon as Vibu doesn't get that ult to completely disengage, 369 knows the play might take a while to complete, but the play is still on. Gets the kill. And while all this is happening, JDG, Herald in the mid lane. Let's push that in as well. Push in with that. Uh, still considerable gold lead. Trying to put to, get, put to bed some of those words that we had just a little earlier on. Looking for a big siege. Okay, the nature of grass comes across. Man, that thing is so hard to see in the bullet time. Oh, oh my god, Gaiwani! He just died to a cask across the wall! The Vanguard's head does nothing for Shanks. They get hope too. Knight is not gonna go down! But Hung definitely oh. will chop down like the tree he is. JDG, they're on a roll. They're on such a roll. Again, this is the team where if you are a team which is in the mid table, you haven't quite found your feet it was amongst the top teams. JDG is the very worst team to face in the LPL because they mechanically, they'll just face up to you, ask you to fight, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna crush you in that fight. Um, things get a little bit awkward here when you've got the uh, the Misfortune ult, Maokai ult, rooting so many people in place. But every time, um, you have to be worried of Ruler firing onto the Misfortune, cancelling out that ultimate just by killing them, or of course missing firing that ult over the top as well. And suddenly, after this fight, we were bemoaning some of those lost stacks for Kanavi. He's now on three items, has himself eight stacks as well, and Bibi is also once again this. caught out an awkward position. Oh, Bibi, you've already been here before. You don't want to come back to this store. Get Talk to the manager. <laughs> Get out of this one somehow. Maybe Hope will be the manager that comes and save you. But it is not so. Another kill goes to JDG. Uh, well, reason, regional business manager Bubu has taken a business trip back to base. Oh, um, Hung is dead. As, as has Hung. Solo That's kill a solo for ruler. For ruler? Wait, what? Why, why is he at Wolves? We don't know. Why is he solo killing the enemy jungler? These are questions, alas, that we cannot answer you. Um, no, you JDG. know what? No, no, no. We have an answer. Okay. <laughs> I'll raise that? you one, two, three, yeah. and a half item. Yeah, that's uh. I know how to count Nightmare. Woo! You make <laughs> you make a very compelling argument. It's not a good show. Oh, oh my here's God! Picture Dude, picture. So much like, damage. That's oh a flash away God. from the. That's a flash away from the first skill shot as well. Um, I mean, <sighs> you're just so far behind at this point. This yeah. Maokai has been completely locked out of this game. Um, Hang has really not had the ability to play. Really, he's just been relegated to his own jungle, trying to throw out an ult every so often to combo in with someone. Knight is back out on that. How often is it you don't even get to talk about Knight in one of these games? One of the very <laughs> best mid laners well, there you in go. the LPL. Well, they get to talk about when he <laughs> <laughs> uh, This will be another dragon on the table this time. We will go to JDG. 
There'll be no contest there on the other side. Did you get a bounty there? Completed at least for WE, so a little bit of gold back, but they find themselves uh, still at about 10 1v4 to 11,000. I still think he can get out of this battle. He's going to get this out. One. He's oh out. Yeah. my god! The long the distance <laughs> all out at 369 with another solo! 369, he brings in so much pressure. That is insult to injury. Four people, best Ruler's bring another one. You again. can't even 1v4 this guy. He's lit. Ruler is literally looking for another solo kill here. No, he's like, I know you want those Raptors. Or the, 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 the Wolves, either one, any of them at this point. There's a little Not bit hell. of blank for Hung. There's the Nature's Grass coming back. The unstoppable oh, onside. Combo. Ruler locked down here, but it gets knocked back. And now it's just with Bew Bew with the front line taken out. Oh, not like this. Not like this. JDG, the, we know they are the team with styles on you. You give them an advantage. Good luck trying to survive the next five minutes. This is actually somehow a fairly sh a fairly long game for them. Yeah, they have is. ended games in like 18 minutes before. They are currently the global record, record holders for 2023, our fastest game. They are so ruthless. JDG, despite a couple of slip ups here and there, they're just proving once again why they're a top team and why they're so entertaining to watch. They're putting the final touches on this first game of the series here. Still have another minute on the Baron Puff, and my goodness, they can just choose their targets. And uh, maybe a couple more. Tail oh. in this hug. He just tries to find a desperate, yeah, at least desperation play to get out of that one. The curtain call does come oh. down. Oh, no missing. <laughs> he dies. Ruler. And now it is a capitalization of the overextension and a bit of that confidence from JDG. <laughs> I don't know what happened with the bot lane. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Wait, no. I won D. Can you I be sent as regards? Exploding cast. <laughs> that one's a vintage for the ages. Another kill, another four Magi stacks. Can I be, again, making real use out of that item. If you're already winning and you're styling on them, why not get some more? Why not get some more stats to throw to that? Where are we replaying? We're going back here. Ultimate hits from Ruler. So much damage. Missing there. didn't want to die to hope. That's all I'm saying here. He's like, man, yeah, I'm, I'm I, I, I really want to see what happens with this last shot. Because watch this. One shot in there. He's standing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether that was meant to be a flash to block. I or think just he was flashing flash away. To... I don't think he wanted to die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think he, he wanted to play. die either. Uh, of course, he still gets out of it. He's got himself the Mikhail's blessing as well. Knight walking up to the side lane. Okay. Got out. Six. What's six, he got? Do some moves. Well. Walk back and forth. What's he got? A little dance moves. Oh, is he to get out? Oh, the, the, the dance moves. Oh, oh, they're, he's, they're he's not working. Oh, 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 he's, oh. He's, he's, There's another duo partner there, uh, and 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 Shanks has been left out of the dance. Yeah, he's. Um, so he's got two left feet, but his ankle has been so thoroughly broken. I'm not sure he's got any feet attached to oh, this point. Oh, uh, Speedway not working out for Bubu here. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, Konami oh. doesn't have that much damage to kill a tank. Bubu is one of the players who's half pretty one shot at this point. Uh, he still forces the flash. JDG, I mean, they've taken uh, mid in here. They haven't got the bot one so far, but they've got a wave slow pushing in. JDG, you know, they're just taking it at their leisure, forcing down the last remaining ta uh, lane with towers outside of the base. This siege is absolutely ridiculous. JDG, start of the game, the threat was, if we get ahead with the Varus and the Jays, good luck trying to survive our siege and survive round objectives. Um, yeah, well, that's been, become the eventuality. Definitely, we have kind of sat there and go, well, that's a great question you bring up. We'll let you know when we have an answer. Maybe in the next game. <laughs> Maybe just check it a little bit later, see what happens. <laughs> As at this point, yeah, I think JDG have already started checking down the list that we wanted for them. This has been... Even though maybe not the stiffest of competitions, it's all gearing up for momentum going into their late season push, going into that matchup next week against LNG. And when you see moments like this where we do get uh, that tried oh, and true oh. JDG down smash of a lower opponent, well, it, it, it makes a little bit of rest go that way, it feels like. I was wondering how quick that cooldown would come off from Kanavi. Kanavi is literally fishing for a barrel kill to hope that. Dark Harvest it's, up as uh, well. The replacement hope for Ash. Not safe. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's Ash, but better. No, not better. <laughs> I mean, for Kanavi, probably better in the jungle roll. Again, he has the ult up here. If he just throws an ult onto three people, 
That's effectively base defense gone. Okay, Hung. Hung trying Hung's to hold on, on the side, but it's going to be He's too good. late. Navi has a great it. angle here. Oh, oh, shakes, shake, shakes. You got you to gotta stay alive for the rest of your team to do something. Oh my god, the nation's grass didn't really get much. With a bullet time out of the half minions and half the team fight. A shot goes through on a hope, and Knight is on the back line now. Bubu Bew has been in this position before, and he'll go zombie fight once again. The curtain call trying to catch out missing. Hope really wants his old, his old support at least. That's a two kill night in this fight. You got a nice little chain back, fourth though, 369, take it up. Hit the Can towers. I be actually getting hit by Hope pretty heavily. The tower's finally the focus. Oh my god, Hope! He got his old jungler in Kanavi. <laughs> Look at something back. Uh, Jenny G, they said that towers are not really their object of fascination on that push. Kanavi goes down for um, the sins of his team. Dragon is alive, by the way, so losing your jungler is, you know, kind of important. There's a chance that there's a teleport from Shanks onto this objective, which there is that big one down and that first there. Actually, never mind. He'll be dead before he's gonna be alive, so ignore that one. Um, JDG, having fun with this one. Now, I will not contest. Are They're you one having of the most fun entertaining nightmare? teams to watch in the world. They're making a little bit more entertaining. They potentially should need to Let's be, though. Let's go! Kanavi's still dead. W, w this is the is only correct out. move for them left. They try to go for the Desperation Baron. No teleports left up on the board just yet from JDG. Knight has it coming back up right now. All right, we'll see if they can get in position here. 369. Yep, teleport to the base. Find it, there you go. And he's going for the end, folks. He has made the leap. We'll see if the Baron packs are enough. They actually have a Bew Bew getting back, but it's not enough. Is it enough? He goes for the damage. Knight trying to they finish it off here. Trying to go 1-0 so, the series. Silence. He knocks him back. The autos are enough, and there ain't nothing you can do to stop Knight from taking your pace as JDG take game one. Knight moves to Nexus. Checkmate in game one. And that was just quintessential JDG. They are stylish. They are so incredibly skilled. There's a touch of arrogance to them as well when they do have fun with playing that game. And WE, you've got to feel for them. Losing in fashion like that and having to come back into a game two, that is so rough on the mental. How do you come yeah. back from that kind of game? It's uh, it's going to be something they have to find an answer to. Hopefully the coaching staff can find something to kind of hold on to from that game because it was really rough uh, across all boards. I think we saw Kanavi being really aggressive early on the Gragas, then just setting up for a lot of the rest of the team, even finding his own kills. Go with that Magi's, as you said, but it was also just ruler missing bot lane, man. They got those early kills in the 2v2, and it was a snowball from there. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty confident now in saying that if you cannot hold even in lane versus JDG, you can't win versus them. This is a team which has picked a lot of lane dominant champions, even when they haven't picked necessarily lane dominant bot lane. Sometimes they pick the Zeri into some awkward matchups and they'd still win with that earlier in the split. But if you give these laners a lead, particularly in mid and bot lane, lights are out. Game's over at that yeah. point. And you're looking at this as, say, an LNG, which has to face them in the very near future as well you have to start ramping up incredibly hard for this team. JDG, they are coming for the top spot. They are, and I think with performances like this, you start to see some of that flexing of the muscles, getting Konami, that Gragas, coming in at 13.4, trying to feel it out a little bit as well. Uh, but it was just that non-13.4 base combo in the Varus and the Imadir that came through in a bit of a response, trying to be there from Open Eye Wandi with a double ADC bot lane and giving Shanks some more resources for WE. You see how that worked out. That is uh, pretty hard to come back from. Um, going into the draft for the second game, really have to wonder what team WE are going to do, what they're going to prioritize.